hello guys this is pawan from ambiotronics so we are again here with our esp idf tutorial so here in this tutorial we will learn how uh, how we can uh, create a project uh, without using any template of or any example projects uh, given by espressive so what will we do we will uh, just uh, create one project and we will just uh, create some uh, one task and how the tasks work what is tasks and how multiple tasks we can create we will learn the in this video so okay uh, let's get started so this is our espress if id uh, which is based on Eclipse as uh, you you can see now we will go to file and we will just uh, click on new and uh, in new we will create expressive idea project so here we will just give one name let's say uh, tasks or new any name you can give tasks new uh, and uh, we will just go to next click on next and create use, create a using uh, one of the templates so we will not use any template if you will click on this so you can uh, click any uh, projects uh, example projects and you can create that project so we don't need that we will click create an empty project let's click on finish so this is our tasks new and uh, here you can see uh, cmake list is there for uh, tasks new and also for main folder so here we'll click on main and here you can see uh, in main we have one example project where nvs and uh, tcp ip adapter and all uh, it's uh, created so we will just remove this and we will create our own program here so for uh, saving time i have already created one task uh, one program so i'll click i'll just copy from this to from this notepad plus plus and i'll paste it here so here you can see we have a studio studio uh, uh, already declared now we have for free artos as we are using so free artos toss dot h is included and we are running tasks so for uh, the, for the same we are also including free artos task dot h and here we have the main program uh, here you can see we have void app main and here we are creating one tasks and this is the task name uh, uh, for what is this as task create uh, for this uh, if you want to know more you can just go to the documentation of uh, expressive uh, uh, for iesp idf this is actually a generic uh, free artos function uh, i'll just show you uh, a brief of that uh, here you can see the documentation of expressive here if you'll just uh, uh, go down there are functions first is ask task create pin to core this is for multiple cores so we are not using uh, specific cores so other 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 function you here you can see static inline base type t s task create then we have six parameters declared uh, six arguments declared in this function and uh, uh, so I'll just explain you each and every uh, parameters. So here, uh, one example you how uh, example uses uh, it has given. So he, here is the function. V task code is the first parameter. Then name, then stack size, then you then pa parameter to pass, microcontroller parameter to pass, task priority, and then handler. So here is the parameters. Here you can see we have first parameter PV task code. This is pointer to the task entry functions as it is written here. So basically this is nothing but function. So this should be uh, this should not return any any value. This should always be infinite loop. Or else uh, if uh, you did not create any infinite loop, then you should always terminate it using vtask delete function before exiting this function or uh, task you can see then another argument is pc name here you can give any 16 character descriptive name 
uh, any name to understand basically for debugging purpose we have to give name here nothing uh, nothing much here and then we have uh, us stack depth the size of the task stack specified uh, here uh, you, you you should give enough space to for your task let's say uh, if you want to uh, you have very small uh, functions in, in your task then you can give 1024 uh, as this value or else uh, you can give uh, more than 1024 so you can multiply with 23 to 1024 to, uh, so that you can give enough space but make sure uh, definitely one thing that uh, you should give enough space to this argument then you have pv parameters uh, this we will make null uh, this uh, i'll explain it later this is basically a pointer that will be used as a parameter for the task being created uh, then we have uh, another argument that is priority so uh, higher the number higher the priority of that task so it's just opposite to that interrupts basically in microcontroller uh, i think you you would have remember uh, this thing that uh, in case of interrupt lesser the number higher the priority but in this uh, rtos pre rtos case higher the number higher the priority so uh, this is for uh, priority now we have last argument this is px created task this is basically a handler this also i'll we will use later on uh, but this is for uh, handling by this is to be passed back a handle by which the created task can be referenced so basically your task we will just reference uh, using this handler to that particular task so that for that purpose this is used this we will uh, this will also we will give null right now so this thing and uh, pv parameters we will give null and other things uh, I'll show you uh, here you can see so this is our task and here this is first argument this is this is the argument this is pv task code pointer to the task basically a function name and then uh, this is just a user defined uh, string 16 character string any name for your understanding you can give and how much memory you are allocating for that tasks so here 1024 into 2 i am allocating so uh, enough memory you, you should allocate and, and then you have uh, this thing uh, the name is pv parameters so this will also this is uh, right now we are giving uh, null and uh, then we have uh, the priority priority we are only running one task so only one you can give and the last one is handler this is also null right now so this is the task and the task uh, for this task uh, this pv parameters we have uh, so uh, pv task code sorry uh, this is uh, the task function so for this we have written here this this pv task code this is the function uh, just like a function you can un uh, as function you can understand this here we have infinite loop as i told you infinite uh, this should not return, return any value so we have should give infinite loop otherwise we have to delete the task and here in this infinite loop we are just uh, printing this is task one and then we are giving one second delay this is for delay guys v task delay this is also a part of priorities function so v task delay then thousand divided by port tick period M ms so you have to give for two second you have to give this number to 2000 uh, let's say like that and, uh, and that's it guys in this uh, program so i'll just build this and uh, uh, we will see how this thing will work i have connected my esp32 with my uh, pc now i am just building this So uh, it will uh, take a little uh, much a little uh, more time. First time if you will build uh, it will take time. So we will just uh, pause the video for a while and uh, let's get let's first uh, let's, uh, start the CMake build. Yes CMake build uh, building has been started. Now uh, let's wait for a moment uh, for a minute or two not so for a moment okay so i'll just pause the video for a while okay so it's almost going to complete now it 
it is building now we will uh, just see how these uh, errors uh, will automatically will automatically be removed uh, so here you can see uh, it's building and uh, cc plus index uh, now it's uh, near about 60 percent so uh, we will wait and uh, let's see how these things uh, works and uh, it's, it's still compiling So here you can see uh, all the uh, errors are removed only one warning we are getting ESP event loop when it is deprecated so uh, uh, there is no error right now so we will just upload this to our ESP32 Uh, for uploading uh, let's check the com port first so here you can click and uh, see the uh, your ESP32 uh, target is ESP32 you can select uh, whatever choice of mode you have if you have ESP32 C3 mini or any uh, like S2 or any other board then you have to select that then you have to recompile it again so my board is ESP32 and uh, serial port is com port and finish and now I'll just launch and uh, okay my previous dock light is I think enabled So again we will compile run, run this and uh, it will flash. So we will uh, get the message this is task 1. So here uh, we will just run this and here you can see this is task 1 message we are getting so this way we you, you can see how uh, we can run the tasks now if I, I I want to add one more task so what I need to do I need to copy this and uh, create this uh, make this function name task function name task 2 and instead of task 1 write task 2 here and uh, same memory uh, allocation you can give this is null and uh, priority uh, let's make it one only and uh, uh, this is also null handler now we will just create one more task by copying this and paste it here so here this is task 2 and uh, same way this is task 1 now this is task 2 now uh, we will just build it again let's save it and build it and we'll flash it now so oh sorry i did not close the dock light again so now both the tasks will run and uh, priority is set to one so parallelly they will task run yeah uh, after one task another task will run so this way these tasks will work now we will see here here you can see this is task one this is task two and uh, priority is 
same that's why again task 2 is printed so uh, it's not like the one after the other task will run so it may be like 1 2 2 to 1 2 most mostly it's 1 2 1 2 you are seeing so this way priority priority works so i hope you like this tutorial in the next video we will uh, see some other stuff based on esp idf so thank you guys thank you very much